Hi guys, so we've got the whiting that's still frying, the beef that's cooking, my battery's done, as you guys know, so I poured the basmati rice, the video cut off, um, but I poured the basmati rice and a spoonful of parsley on top of the basmati rice. I you can see the beef is finished cooking. So um, we're moving on to our guacamole. I'm actually uploading those videos right now. So So I'm going to turn down the fire on the lighting. I put the fire too high. So. So one of my wagon is finished, the other one isn't. So we're getting started on the avocado, guys. I know you guys are super psyched for that. So this is the first whiting and it's done. You guys can see that. Um, so I'm just gonna put that to the side because it's already done. I'll be right back guys. I'm gonna grab some more paper towels. <laughs> Enjoying the music in the background, so I don't want to turn it on. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my hands now. I just got back with a paper towel. And what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting the skin off of the ginger. So I can place it. in my beef pot. So, 
I'm gonna play some of this if you guys can see I'm cutting the ginger. I'm cutting the ginger. And I'm putting some of it in my guacamole mix. And then the garbage, I'm just putting on the side. So, I'm gonna finish. So, I'm cutting out the top of the pepper now for my guacamole. So, then I'm rinsing that out. Then I'm placing it to the side and I'm cutting out the top of my other pepper that I previously washed and put to the side. So you guys are in the mood for some guac because here it comes. So I'm just gonna cut this pepper in half. Then I'm just going to cut it in thin slices. I'm going to put some more water in my beef, if you guys can see that. I put more water in my beef. And I'm still cutting my pepper in thin slices. And I'm putting that to the side for my guacamole. I'm doing the same thing with this yellow pepper. I'm cutting it in half and I'm cutting thin slices. I'm cutting some thin slices. I'm using three quarters of it for my guacamole and a quarter of it for my meat pot. Just to give it some color. So I'm cutting it in half. I'm cutting it in four now. I want to taste the crunch of it in my guacamole, so I cut it in four. My avocado that I'm using is called Hass, H-A-S-S, -S, avocado. Um, you can use whatever avocados of your choosing. So I'm using three quarters of my guacamole. And a quarter for my beef. So, now you want to grab your avocado. These are the three avocados I'll be using. 
which is called half avocados. And I'm gonna clean the skins of them. So with my first one, I'm going to roll my avocado. Uh oh, I still have soap on the skin. So I'm gonna roll my avocado. Just to make it so I can be able to cut it. Once it's rolled enough, I'm gonna actually just cut it in half till I get close to the seed. And then I'm gonna just tie it open like that. I've got my lemon juice. So I'm gonna pour. I'm rinsing out my container again. And I want you guys to see. So I have a spoonful of. You can use a spoonful of lemon juice. The lemon juice of my choice is real lemon. Or you can use. Um, Then I'm gonna just take it out of the skin. So I'm peeling the skin off. Off of the avocado. And then I'm putting it in my actual container. You wanna take the seed out? This is the kit. You want to do the same thing on the other side, peel it gently, I rolled these already, so Now I'm just cutting it in half. <laughs> and then I'm gonna peel it. You guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm peeling out the avocado. You want to take the pit out if you can. If not, you can always use a knife to help you. Usually, the pit is very, um, very well positioned in the avocado. That might be hard. So you could always just cut around the pit. I use the avocado and use the avocado around the actual pit. So this is my second pit. So you're gonna do the same thing. Cut the avocado until you get down to the pit. Then you're just gonna peel the skin off. 
I'm gonna so gently. So this is my other half of avocado. So, this is a quarter of an avocado. You want to peel the other one? So, this is my third kiss. So this is all the skins of my half avocado. So now I think this is the most difficult part of making guacamole. Guys. So I think this is the most tedious part of making guacamole and that is to crush them. So you want to like crush this. If you have a food processor, you can um, crush it in that. Which is why you roll the avocado to make it easier to and you just, you just start crushing out. You just start crushing out your avocado. This is where you just crush your avocado. Guys, this is killing me. Crushing this. <laughs> this is the most I've been up. As you guys know, this is the most I've been up. So you can see, this is how it's coming together. I'm crushing it. It is coming together. The rice is almost done. This is basically done. So tomorrow I'll be taking some avocado sandwiches with me to some sandwiches with guacamole in it to radiation tomorrow. 
to eat for my lunch. <laughs> guys, I am bringing you guys this from start to finish. So I'm crushing out this avocado. Guys, <laughs> crushing this thing out. I am beat up right now, guys. My beef is done, guys. I'm just gonna rinse my top and put it over my beef. My rice is done. My white is done. The last thing is just my avocado I'm finishing up on. I told you guys, once I got started, it'd be fairly easy. It was. I got burnt a little bit by the fish oil, but that's okay. So you have to make sure all the guacamole is crushed out. This is not fully crushed out. That's the thing about guacamole, you have to make sure it's Crushed out completely. <sighs> Guys, this is gonna be delicious. <sighs> so, this is three guacamole, um, three <laughs> avocados crushed out. You guys already seen, I already put my. So, now I'm gonna put my seasoning of my choice in there which I showed you guys how I made that already which is one which is <laughs> so I'm gonna mix this together guys the music in the background is courtesy of a YouTube playlist Disclaimer, I don't own any rights to the music. Pain in the background, you want to make sure this mixes really well. Because that is what guacamole is about. Hidden ingredients. So I am I am <sighs> So this is semi final guys now you want to grab your salt I'm going to use a spoonful of salt to each his own. So I'm using a spoonful of salt, black pepper. I'm going to use my cayenne liquid. Um, I'm using a spoonful of black pepper as well. 
I'm using a couple of shakes of onion powder, a couple of shakes of garlic powder, Guys, this is the most I've been on my feet since my surgery Monday. I feel so proud of myself. <laughs> like, I rock. <laughs> okay, um, then I'm using a spoonful of garlic powder. Um, so I need some cayenne pepper. So, I use a spoonful of cayenne pepper. You guys know I like everything spicy because my life is so spicy. And then it's the best morning video ever, guys. <laughs> so, so I am officially done cooking. As soon as I finish mixing this, guys, I rock. So. This is my finished result of my guacamole. <laughs> my hurts. My whole body hurts, guys. Um, but I'm sedated and comfortable. <laughs> um, that's my end result of my guacamole. So, this is dinner, guys. I believe this looks like a picnic in the park. It looks so nice, so green, so pretty, so colorful. Yeah, guys, so this is the end result of my guacamole. I didn't taste it yet. I know it's delicious. <laughs> I don't know where my appetite went. <laughs> my body hurts, so I feel like throwing up from the pain. So I apologize, y'all. Um, but you know what? I'm going to eat right now. This food is done. I'm going to eat right now. I'm going to eat right now, guys. Um, 